Hyperinflation country number one, Venezuela. Are they in the mighty basket of flags? You bet. Theirs looks like this. Because of inflation, it took banknotes with lots of zeros to buy even a donut. Crazy prices, huh? So to make things look normal, the government pulled a magic trick. They replaced the old money with new money. But here's the trick. Something was missing. On the new money, they dropped three zeros. Your 50000 that you saved? Overnight, it turned into the new money. Abracadabra, a shiny new 50. Like those three zeros were never there. Whoa, where did that go? You add 50,000, now the government says you have 50. It just disappeared. Hyperinflation. Hyperinflation. That's like if you had a $100 bill American, but inflation got really bad and a cup of coffee cost $100. That would look crazy. So what governments do now and then is come out with new money with the zeros cut off. Watch it happen right before your eyes. With three zeros off, your $100 bill is now worth a dime. And this really happens. In some countries, if you want a donut, you have to bring a shopping cart full of their money. That's inflation, where prices have gone way up. But hyperinflation is when you go to bed with 50000 in the bank, and when you wake up, you have just five. The government changed the money on you, and this really happens. So in Venezuela, the new banknotes were beautiful. On the back, a hawksbill turtle, giant armadillo, Orinoco river dolphins, spectacled bear, harpy eagle, and these are red siskins. But hyperinflation came back and passed 1 million percent. So in 2018, to make it look less bad, they changed the banknotes again. And they took off five zeros. Pay no attention to the government's demonetization. Just look at the pretty colorful money. That 200000 that you managed to save from the old, recently new money that's now being replaced again is now abracadabra worth a two. But they didn't fix the reasons for the hyperinflation. They just changed the banknotes. See, the government needs to pay people, build stuff, and buy things. And they own the printing presses, so they just print and print and print money with nothing to back it up. And they put too much money out there. And you get... Hyperinflation. Soon, a roll of toilet paper costs this stack of bills. Like this tweet says, how do you carry that much cash? Buying this chicken for your family cost 14600000 Bring another backpack of cash for the tomatoes. This is what it looks like when money becomes worthless. It's in the streets. You need to carry suitcases of it to buy even a little thing. This is hyperinflation. This street vendor used thousands of banknotes to make these little items for sale. To make it so people could carry less bills, they made the 200000 then this 500,000. And in 2021, the 1 million banknote. But a 1 million bought you a strawberry frosted. So for the third time in 13 years, Venezuela changed their banknotes and dropped six zeros. Ah, presto changeo. The hand is quicker than the eye. Five million Bolivar sovereigns became five in the newest money. Not five million, five. Why do people put up with this? Well, TV hosts tell you it's patriotic. The commercials explain it in a happy way. Your million bill will be equal to and coexist with the new one. Your 500,000 is now equal to 50 cents. Hyperinflation. Hyperinflation. What have we learned so far? Hootie the Educational Owl says hyperinflation is when the government prints too much money, and that's bad. Country number two. Try to count the zeros when hyperinflation came to Yugoslavia. I'm gonna love it when paper keeps coming. Nothing that I can't buy. Stack it up. Stack it up. Making that money. The end when they threw in the towel, you could trade this bill for this nice new fiver with Tesla on it in the new money. Country number three, Zimbabwe. In Africa, a new country called Zimbabwe replaced Rhodesia. You simply changed your Rhodesia money for the new country's money. Both had an antelope, the famous Charimba rocks, 
But Zimbabwe had a debt crisis, so they increased the money supply. They printed banknotes like they had a free toner account at Office Max. The government had to pay for stuff and keep loyal supporters and veterans happy. But when you endlessly print money, you get... Hyperinflation. Hey, you've watched five minutes already. You know what the play is here. New banknotes came out. They cut off three zeros. Two years later, another new money. Ten more zeros cut off. This one really hurt. They demonetized your hundred billion, down to just ten dollars. Ever seen a ten billion dollar bill? Now you've seen a twenty billion. The ten trillion. The twenty. The fifty trillion dollar bill, which still fits nicely in the wallet. Fifty trillion walking around money. The final insult? This is a Zimbabwe one hundred trillion dollar bill. Just put it in your purse. Go to 7-Eleven, get a Slurpee. Street vendors couldn't count all this. They weighed it instead. A quadrillionaire could barely afford to buy bread. I gotta buy food. I can't afford it. I gotta buy clothes. I can't afford it. I gotta buy shoes. I can't afford it. I gotta get by. I can't afford it. Has all the money gone? A real sign in a public toilet, asking people not to use Zim dollars as toilet paper. Finally, it was time to try something new, something different that worked. Yeah, that didn't happen. They just redesigned the money again in 2009 and dropped 12 more zeros. Your old $100 trillion bill friend is now just a $100 friend. Dropping zeros hides that the government has wiped out your savings through horrible policies. Spending money for stuff they don't have. Prices keep going up. Your savings are in danger. Is this the biggest bill ever in the world? Not by the zeros on your chinny chin chin. Country number four. The Weimar Republic, Germany. After World War I, the Weimar Republic owed so much money to other countries for war reparations, they just printed tons not based on anything. Bread went from 150 marks to just a year later costing 200 billion marks. Money so worthless, people wallpapered rooms with it. This is an actual mark from that time that escaped becoming wallpaper. You're breaking the fourth wall. Oh, just hit, hit the music. They'd make dresses out of it. Kids played with mountains of worthless money as their toys. You had to bring wheelbarrows of money to the store to buy bread. The money was so worthless, people would steal the wheelbarrow and leave the money. In the end, you know what happened by now. August 1924, a new law let you exchange a one trillion paper mark note for one of the new Reich marks. And if I've ever heard of a bargain, that's one. This has been Cutler Tone News. And now, the largest bank note ever with the most zeros. Hungary. World War II ends, Hungary has to pay massive reparations to the Soviets. Hungarian bankers warn that just printing money would be bad. Like Zimbabwe, this was Hungary's version of the 100 trillion. But this next one beats that and has so many zeros, we're gonna have to get creative with a good source for zeros. From 1946, this is a one quadrillion banknote. 15 zeros, that's how bad it can get. Now, the world record holder for biggest hyperinflation banknote ever. It's like facing the big boss at the end of a game. This guy is an actual 100 quintillion. That's 100 quintillion in a single bill, a one with 20 Cheerios. You're looking at the biggest banknote ever in circulation. Oh, if you're ever on Jeopardy, I should tell you this. They were going to come out with an even bigger banknote with 21 zeros, but it wasn't circulated, so this one doesn't count. We're not politically left or right on our channel. You can get that stuff elsewhere. So, just the facts. The U.S. government spent trillions on pandemic relief. A lot of unplanned money went into the economy. Inflation is up. And there's a famous U.S. national debt clock in New York City, and it's ticking. Over 30 trillion now. I'm not saying it could be anytime soon, but maybe someday future U.S. money could have a lot more zeros. If that eventually happens, you'll know what to expect when it costs your mom a Spock to buy a loaf of bread. 
what governments do with all those zeros. Recently, we found out about the $1 trillion platinum coin. Evidently, the Treasury Department can mint one of these and deposit it in the Federal Reserve in exchange for debt. Trillion dollars, just like that. Be fun to revisit this in a few years and see where things go. Give us a like if you'd like, and we'll see you in the next video. Come visit New York City. For some cool retro things to see, click on our video on the left. And for our history of vinyl records, CDs, cassettes, and recorded audio, click the video on the right.